to set up a graphic for a bleed zone so that while printing and cutting, if there are slight registration issues, it's not apparent in the final product, we'll want to offset our cut path. Right now we have a graphic in front of us that has a cut line already established. If I go to my layers panel and hit set up as in previous videos where we show you how to do a cut line, I'll have a layer named cut line. In this layer, there will be the one path that is our cut line for the graphic. If I select the path there or go to the active layer and click on the path, I can now go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. I'm going to offset the path a negative value. For instance, on this graphic I may do negative 0.05. This is going to give a slight inset to the, the graphic. As I can see, I've gone too far when I click, click on the preview. I can hit cancel on this and what we'll do is we'll use the zoom key or zoom tool to go in closer on an area so I can see it more accurately. Again, I'll go to object, path, and offset path. I did negative 0.05 before so now I'll do negative 0.005 and click on the preview. That's a little too small for the offset path and won't give me enough of a bleed. So let's try to adjust that again. We'll do 0 0.009, uncheck the preview and then check it again, and I can see there's a slight separation there. This is appropriate for the graphic I have. Click on OK, and then I will un unselect everything and then select the outer path and delete it. You can now see the inner path here with a slight bit of the graphic showing all the way around. This will allow for any discrepancies in the cutting accuracy while doing production so that I, it won't show in the final graphic for the customer. I can view and go to outline and see the offset there as well. It will take a little bit of practice to determine how much of an offset that you want to do so that you have the correct offset of the path and enough of a bleed developed around it for the run that you're doing.